Okay, so we learned already, guys, about the three things that your kidneys filter. Your kidneys also produce something, and it helps with the creation of red blood cells in the bone marrow. Now, if you guys saw my video about um, thrombocytopenia or how blood cells are created, um, what happens is you have uh, erythropoietin created from the kidneys. So if your kidneys are broken, what's going to happen is, let's just say your kidneys are broken, okay? They're not working anymore. You're going to keep hydrogen ions inside your body. You're going to keep BUN inside your body. You're also going to keep creatinine inside your body. Hook. And you're going to be constantly um, not creating enough red blood cells. Your H and H is probably going to drop. Your hemoglobin, your hematocrit, as well as your other blood cells might even drop as well because you're not creating this, what's called erythropoietin, just a hormone. It's like building materials that the kidneys sending over to the bone marrow to say, hey, we need to create this product. So the bone marrow gets those building materials, those hormones that kind of initiate the process of creating blood cells. So when your patients have renal failure, like your dialysis patients, who are on either hemodialysis or uh, peritoneal dialysis, they're going to have um, these guys high in the, in the blood. So you're going to have hydrogen ions. They're going to be metabolic acidosis. You're going to have a high BUN. You're going to have a high creat. And if your kidneys are broken, there's no way we can get blood. I'm sorry. There's no way we can get we can get urine out of the body. So it's very, very sad because if your patient's constantly at a high blood pressure, there's really no way we can get that blood pressure down by depleting fluid from the body because we can't, there's no exit. So we have to use that hemodialysis. We have to tell your patient, no, 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 we are fluid restricting you because we can't just be guzzling down a gallon a day because all that fluid is going to stay in and we can't get it out until your next hemodialysis day. So good question. Is that the same thing as acute kidney injury? We're going to go into that right now. What are the causes of kidney failure? Uh, apparent, uh, specifically uh, acute renal failure, ARF. I call acute kidney failure. But um, there's one more thing you guys have to understand here before we go into that. So we filter hook, but there's also some things that you guys have to understand in what we also do here. So your, your kidneys are a washing machine, correct? Now the functional unit of the kidneys that really filter out a lot of the stuff, a lot of the crap, a lot of the crud, is your um, nephrons. That's the working unit of the kidney that really makes the urine. So it kind of looks like this. You have these nephrons that come out right here. Okay. And inside the nephrons, you have these little glomeruli that kind of branch out like this. Okay? So it kind of looks like a little tree. And if you guys haven't noticed already, your body works much like um, things in nature. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, there's evolution or not going into all these politics, but I'm just saying that your body resembles inside your body a lot of things in nature so like your tree I'm saying, like your um, your lungs it really just looks like an inverted tree you have a trunk you have little branches bronchioles then you have little um, um, alveoli that are at the end of those trees like an apple tree with your veins and your heart 
your heart can be said like waves of an ocean because constantly pushing blood. Your little veins in your vessels are really just like creeks and um, little side streets that lead off. So, same thing with your kidneys here. It almost looks like a little bouquet of flowers. So, these little blood vessels go through the nephron and they go to the glomeruli to be filtered. And this is where we get our filtering action from. This is where we actually filter these things here. It's something called your GFR, your glomerular filtration rate. Now, on a normal, healthy young person, it's supposed to be between 85 to 105. Okay? That's mLs per minute. Supposed to be between 85 to 105 mLs per minute. That means your body is constantly filtering this blood filtering out the hydrogen, the urea, and the creat. Now something to know about our geriatric community is that every year after I believe the age of 65 or 70, we lose 3% of our functioning nephrons or our functioning portion of the kidneys every single year. So by the time let's say we're 85, we might still only retain about 50% of our kidneys. So your patients, that's why your geriatric community has chronic, chronic um, health problems because this is only the kidneys. Your geriatric patients are constantly losing their pacemaker cells in their heart. They're losing their epithelial cells on their skin. They have very thin skin. Um, they're losing their cells in their eyes, guys. They start getting cataracts. They start getting um, glycoma. Things just start breaking down. So, your glomerular filtration rate starts to decrease. And now, a glomerular filtration rate, anything above 65 in terms of your glomerular filtration rate, is considered okay. 65 is kind of like the bare minimum. That's the bare, bare minimum here. So, we want to make sure that our patient who is young and healthy has a good glomerular filtration rate. Oh, there it is. 85 to 105, that's what we expect. That's something you can write down on a note card. 85 to 105, okay? That's how much MLs are being filtered in this little washing machine bubble. And we're trying to filter as much as we can, okay? So, before we go on to what causes breakdowns, let me ask you a critical thinking question here. You have a patient that is constantly hyperglycemic due to unregulated diabetes. So you have very thick blood that's being pushed around in this kidney. If you guys... Um, try to wash mud in your washing machines, your washing machines are probably going to break down one of these days. Same thing, if you have very syrupy blood that's trying to be filtered, your washing machines are probably going to break down. If you have constant high pressure, high pressure, just uh, 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 your kidneys are probably going to break down. That's hypertension. So hypertension, high pressure, Hyperglycemia, too much syrupy blood, it's probably going to kill your kidneys, as well as very toxic substances that have to be filtered out of your kidneys to be excreted, which is called half-life. So let's go into things that can cause an acute kidney injury and cause your patient to immediately go into acute renal failure. 